Well, hi everyone. It's Bob from Grey Bear Models. Hope you had a really good Christmas. Um, Santa brought me a present, so I thought what I'd do is I'd do a quick unboxing and show you what I got. Right. So, what Santa brought me was an Al Alamein Sherman tank. Um, this is a, a Dragon kit. It's a great bit of graphics on the front here. Um, it's their kit number 6617 and uh, it's the 80th anniversary of the Battle of El Alamein. So yeah, pretty. it's a recent kit by, by uh, Dragon. Sorry about the glare on the box, but uh, you know, that, that's the way it is. Uh, just got a little thing here, it's for modellers age 15 and over and contains 420 parts uh, and a model of one tank um, it's part of this smart kit range and has magic tracks um, I don't know what they are I haven't, I haven't really looked at that but uh, we'll have a look at the box and so the end of the box says uh, you know has the whole El Alamein Sherman the um, part number and magic track and bit of the graphics again um, around this side it, it goes through explaining what uh, magic tracks are and how they work which is quite cool and it also shows um, complete, completely slide moulded up a hole with realistic casting detail which, which is really nice I mean that's, that's, that's pretty cool um, this end of the box has got a similar thing um, and there we've got um, one piece early 75mm gun turret has cast texture on it a uh, special device included to bend specific photo edge parts to correct angle that's cool that's a cool little tool to have there uh, bolted connecting plate for gun shield attachment rendered in fine detail God, that's a mouthful um, photo etch light guards included finely detailed photo etch storage box brackets fenders made from photo etch parts to represent actual thickness of photo etch uh, photo etch parts for fender attachment strips so that looks pretty cool having all of that these storage boxes are good um, in the in the um, graphic on the front of the box um, it does tell you that um, on there you know it's got like a water canister in it um, a uh, whole load of stuff there in language I can't read um, and it says caution when you use glue or paint do not use near an open flame and use in a well ventilated room and this is for modelers over 15 what else does it say not suitable for children under three <laughs> well you know if you bought this for a kid under three I think you, you really do need your head examining um, and this is made by Dragon copyrighted 2022 from uh, Hong Kong made in China so that's that let's get the box open and we'll have a look what's inside the box so parts are pretty well packed it's quite a nice packing within the box it's not overly crushed if I turn it around that way on the sprue it's actually got what it is which is cool and even before I take it out of the bag I can see really good casting detail on there there's a, a loose part floating around in there so hopefully that's nothing that's uh, too fragile you should be able to pick that up at some point during the build just looking to see if I can see where it's, it's come out I can't see anything at the moment but you never know and this bag here has got a couple of sprues in it as well and there is cast detail on the, on the on the body of the tank there I can see that which is really neat nothing loose in there there's no flash or anything like that that I've seen and ejector pin marks are, appear to be in places where it doesn't matter 
uh, this looks like it's all of the the wheels and, and all of that sort of stuff so that's cool in one bag this bag has got uh, some more panels from the body and what looks like the gun barrel and that sort of thing again looks really neat no 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 flash or anything like that this has got to be the lower end of the or the lower half of the, the hull in a separate bag which is cool nice details on there and let's go for the clear parts next clear parts in a separate ziplock bag which is again really good there's periscopes and light lenses and all that sort of thing cool and this is the the smart track or the, the magic track stuff and that looks really really good the, there's the the pads from the tracks the, you know on the roadside um are showing signs of wear which is really really nice and so are those so some of them are in there and some are in there don't know why they're in two separate bags but they are and then finally we've got another bag with the decals on it these are obviously British markings that's an odd odd marking a, a round yellow and a, and a off slightly off black black uh, decal so black and yellow decal there that's a bit odd um, but yeah we'll have a look at uh, look at those in more detail got a piece of um, braided wire for the tow cable and then we've got a set of photo etch for the side sheets and all of that stuff which which is what they, they they've said that's really cool so i'm going to get the i'll get everything back in the back in the box and then we'll have a look at the the instructions the instructions are in a, let's try and get that all straight up uh, are in an A4 um, sheet which folds out that way rather than a booklet so that's that it's in, in black and white as you can see with just a blue enhancement um, the items marked in blue on these sprues are not for use there's a hell of a lot of parts here that aren't used that's going to be interesting might have to spend some time going around the spruce taking all those parts off getting them out of the way or, or in some cases just taking parts out of the sprue that are being used this this sprue here this sprue a there's only a few things it looks just like tools that are used in in that sprue so I'm, i might have to just cut those parts off set those aside and the rest of it can be stored away um, but yeah really good sprue call out there got the part numbers next to the parts and stuff like that so it should be fairly straightforward to find what we need um, it's got a colour call out um, for aqueous hobby colour uh, mr colour and model master colours in the in the columns here oh i see so h1 is aqueous hobby color so that number there and the number there in the blue column is for the mr color and then the gray one is for model master color but these are standard colors i mean white black flat black steel tan field gray um white or wood brown middle stone dark earth dark green they're standard sort of colors um, the color scheme is for the 8th army in the desert at Al Alamein so you know it's British, British markings anyway so it should be fairly easy to follow looks a fairly straightforward build there's no internal so it's fairly fairly obvious build I think so just making up the the wheel sets and then doing the nose with the drive sprockets 
and then fitting the nose and just get that into shot I think uh, just fitting the nose section there of the hull onto the main hull body and then adding the wheel sets and then over here doing the, the um, The trailing wheels there and other bits of detail onto the hull and then doing the top hull adding lots of bits and pieces little greeblies and brackets and, and whatnot there um, and then it gives you options on some of these parts so you'll have to be careful to watch how we go with these and things that are not to be stuck and that sort of thing um, but yeah generally a fairly straightforward build by the look of this and then this section here is about the rear end and the details on there and the tools adding the tools and then the gun barrel and the mantlet and all of that sort of stuff there adding onto the onto the turret and the bottom of the turret there and the hatches can be posed open or closed which is nice and then the same with these storage boxes I think these were on on there um, that can be open or closed yep depending on what you want to do and then the big bit at the end is is here about how to put the tracks together and then the locations of some of the markings there and some of the other additional the side skirts that sort of thing there which are made of photo etch which is really cool really cool um, and then the marking out along here of where to place right so you've got a strip the brass strip and then the, the little lugs there which are folded up so yeah that should be an interesting interesting build the colour call out paints and markings on these so you've got the C squadron 9th lancers 2nd armoured brigade Al Alamein 1942 HQ 2nd armoured brigade Al Alamein C squadron 3rd azars 9th armoured brigade B squadron Warwickshire yeomanry 9th armoured brigade B squadron the 3rd royal tank regiment and C squadron 10th azars 2nd armoured brigade so a whole variety of of, of vehicles there um, it just gives you general paint schemes but it doesn't show you you know in detail what the what the sort of markings would be but obviously there's lots of references available so yeah that should be a really interesting build actually so what with the Valentine the Dorchester the Bantam and the Scammell tank transporter I've got a whole raft of vehicles oh and the and the truck and the gecko truck um, and the ambulance got a whole raft of vehicles there in in the desert early part of World War II um, El Alamein and all of that That'd be a long long diorama with all of those vehicles might be an interesting interesting thing to do so I'll give that some thought but um, yeah might have to get this one built next year as well that's it for now hope you enjoyed that if you did please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next one take it easy bye for now